Hi there and welcome to the Truck King YouTube channel. So we're looking at another couples travel trailer today, a really hot segment. And as a matter of fact, this particular Palomino Real Light is what we just towed with the 2022 Maverick. So Steve will throw up a link here and you can see how that worked. But now let's go take a look at the trailer. Let's look at the specs here on this Palomino. So a little over 21 feet long, approximately 36, 3,700 pounds dry, probably gets up to around 4,600 pounds if you load it up. The dry weight actually was a real good combination for that Maverick today, one of the reasons that we towed with it. Nevertheless, what we're looking at here is a couples trailer. This is a hot segment right now, particularly this is really all pandemic related. This is people trying to get out into the wilds for the first time. Many, many people are experiencing camping for the first time and the manufacturers have really pivoted quickly and created these trailers with those sorts of amenities that younger folks want. All the electronics, the hookups and the big bathroom. Don't know why, but they love a big bathroom. So let's take a look at this one here. We've got a single slide. This when we get inside, you'll see how much that opens up the space. There's also a reasonable amount of storage. We have pass-through storage. It's small on this side, but it's actually quite large out on the other side. And as we walk back here, I also want you to note how tall this trailer is, okay? You'll actually see the axle is at the bottom of the cross members, and there's a reason for that, because while this particular trailer does not have an off-roading package, that is available. That would give you a much more aggressive tire and things such as extended flares on the wheel well. But the way this sits here right now, it really will get into some uneven spaces. This is very, very important if you like to do sort of wilderness camping. If you want to get off the beaten trail, if you don't particularly want to get into a park, you need a unit that sits up a little higher and this one does that. Now, because of that, everything else is also sitting up higher, including your valves and your stabilizer jacks. Very easy to access everything. As we get to the back here, as I mentioned, the electronics, you'll notice there are plugins for cable and satellite. And what this little gadget right here is, uh, exterior hookup for solar panels. So again, you wanna get off the beaten track, you need power. So if you take out your own solar panels, you can just set them up right here beside the unit, run the existing wiring, and that's where they'll plug in right there. So coming around the back, we do have an access ladder. This is really important. Not really, this is not meant for you to get up there and party. This is meant to give you access so that you can check out the roof because rubber membrane roofs need maintenance, particularly caulking. So that's good here. We have a spare tire. These things are fairly standard, but you'll also notice that we've got a nicely placed quick disconnect for natural gas. So in other words, this is where you can put your barbecue. And frankly, I like it right at the back of the unit because there's a bunch of aftermarket barbecues that actually will clamp right onto this bumper. You can swing it out and when you're done with it, it comes back here. So working our way back around, you'll notice the various different vents because of course this is a three season trailer. So we have air conditioning up there. We have a heater in here. We have a water heater in here. And then we've even got these nice little, these are marine grade speakers. So it'll set you up for a spot outside. That's a power awning, quite long. You can see that it takes up most of the unit. And you've even got 110 plugs right over here for whatever else you wanna use. All right, so now it's time to get inside. And first things first, we'll bring the steps down. It's as easy as pulling that and dropping these down. These are now becoming very popular and I love them because this is on the ground. These don't bounce and they'll sit at whatever height you need them because they're hinged. 
So, in we go, if I don't fall down. So in a small trailer, space management obviously is very, very important. And I really like units that try to put in items that will do two jobs. So right here, we have, of course, a nice couch, nice sitting position. However, what this will do is this will lay down flat and you can see behind it, here's the mattress for the bed. This will fold forward and you have a nice full size bed with space on either side to get in and out of it. I hate beds that are jammed up against the wall and you gotta crawl over somebody. So that in itself is already good. You'll notice on the nose though, that big, big window. And that is again, another nice item because the more windows, the more light, the more light, the bigger the space feels. The single slide that we looked at outside, of course, is right here. This is a fairly common usage. There's your dinette. This is also a place not only where you're eating, but you're going to sit here, you're going to have coffee, etc., etc. And right across from it are the hookups for the television. So this is where you would mount a television bracket and you've got a satellite hookup, you've got a cable hookup, all the things that you'd expect. Now, the galley, fairly small. In this particular one, you're going to get a two burner stove. There is a microwave down below, no oven in this unit. However, do you really need it? I guess that's the question. Whereas the refrigerator that is important is a very decent size. Nicely, nicely uh, fitted into this cabinetry as well. One of the cool things I noticed, noticed as soon as I walked in, I wish I could turn it on, is this little electric fireplace. Uh, it's a neat placement right here. This otherwise would be kind of a dead space. So you get to put that in there right above a pantry. So these are always important because they never seem to have, they have lots of places for dishes, but you got to put your food somewhere, particularly your dry stuff. So this is good. And this will also throw heat. So this is for that in-between time when you don't want to fire up the furnace, but you can get electric heat. Now, the last thing, of course, the bathroom. And I'll let Steve just go in there and kind of zoom around because the one thing, regardless of the size of a trailer that everybody wants is a decent sized bathroom. I don't really have a problem with that because for years, these units had showers that were so small that really I had a hard time turning around. As you can see, that corner shower, it's quite tall. It has the skylight. You're not going to have that issue. In addition to which, where the toilet is sitting, it's not too close to any particular cupboards or walls. Once again, nicely placed. Even the sink has a small counter space around it and a full medicine cabinet underneath a place for all your other cleaning products, towels, etc. So a good use of space all around. So I mentioned I like smart engineering, things that do more than one job. And I just noticed that underneath this couch, we have storage space. But the reality is this is also a footstool. So you can pull it out. You got stuff in there, but you're sitting here. It's a nice, comfortable place to put your feet up on. See, no bounce. I love that. So we've had a look at this real light. And as I said, you can see from everything I'm doing in there, it's, it's a couple's unit, not necessarily a younger couple's unit either, because older couples, your kids are up and gone. You know what? You might want to downsize into something that still gets you out there, a little easier to tow and nicely sized. However, what does it cost? So this unit today at Gimme Shelter here in Mono, Ontario, $34,200. So, frankly, folks, that's it for this one. We've had fun towing this with the Maverick today, and it's a nice unit. Come on up and have a look at it yourself. So, before you go, please go below, hit like, hit subscribe, hit join to become part of the channel, and then come back and see what I'm doing next.